Are we aware that we live on a finite planet with limited resources? In the case of water, only around 2% is available fresh water for the human consumption. This scarcity means that nowadays, 3 out of 10 people do not have drinking water. The consumption patterns, the way we travel, the building of the cities we inhabit, each of our actions have some impacts that we cannot ignore. The construction activities require a high demand of material resources, energy and water, and therefore they are responsible of an important part of the impacts generated by the society. According to UNESCO, it is expected that the levels of nitrogen that rivers provide to the coastal ecosystems increase from 10 to 15 percent as a result of the population growth in the next three decades. The Environmental Product Declaration Program, DAPCONS, quantifies the impacts generated by construction products considering their entire life cycle from the extraction of raw materials to the end of life, passing through manufacture, distribution and use of the product. These environmental declarations take into account eight environmental impact categories such as depletion of the ozone layer, waste generation, depletion of abiotic resources or eutrophication. Eutrophication is the accumulation of nutrients, mainly nitrates and phosphates, in an aquatic ecosystem, such as river, a lake or the seaward. These nutrients are essential for primary production, but when certain concentrations are exceeded, they become a risk of contamination. The abundance of nitrates and phosphates cause the massive proliferation of algae and phytoplankton, which has some consequences. On one hand, algae consume oxygen, causing the death of aerobic organisms, which are those that need oxygen to live. This phenomenon is known as hypoxia. On the other hand, the water becomes turbid and it hampers sunlight from reaching the bottom in such a way that photosynthesis cannot occur and plants die as well. All of this causes toxic bacteria and algae to survive, which in return releases other pollutants such as sulfites, methane or ammonia, which drastically reduce biodiversity. The industrial effluents that are spilled into aquatic environment and the domestic products that are poured into the sewage system, as well as fertilizers of agricultural use, contribute to the appearance of algae that are characteristic of eutrophication. Within the life cycle of construction products, the emission of nitrates and phosphates can come from different phases. In the phase of extraction of raw materials, rainwater can drag nitrogen particles and phosphorus into the aquatic environment, eventually reaching rivers, lakes or aquifers, where their presence can generate eutrophication problems. In the phase of product manufacturing, the use of some products from chemical industries such as additive, resins, waterproofing, silicones or paints also results in the emission of nitrates and phosphates in the environment. Other nutrient sources that may cause water eutrophication are deforestation in areas of construction or extraction of materials, the use of machinery and transport which emit oxides of nitrogen and sulfur into the atmosphere, causing acid rain that carries nutrients to the water. Thanks to DAPCONS, the stakeholders involved in the construction and rehabilitation of buildings as the prescribers of materials, may have the necessary information to choose the materials and products based on the environmental criteria. With these Type 3 Ecolabels, companies can demonstrate their involvement and respect for the environment as they give information to technicians when choosing more respectful products and adopt sustainable measures within the sector. On one hand, 
administrations are increasingly pursuing the reduction of impacts with the development of regulations. And, on the other hand, society is more involved in consuming goods and services with less impacts. Therefore, the Environmental Product Declaration Program is a very useful tool to promote the transformation of the construction sector towards a future model sustainable and respectful with the environment and the people's health.